the Abrams M1 A2 SEP V3. Currently one of the most advanced main battle tanks in the world. The Abrams main battle tank chassis has been the workhorse for tanks for the United States Army and Marines since the 1980s. Revered as one of the most combat effective tanks in the world. The Abrams main battle tank has seen combat during Desert Storm in the 1990s, the War on Terror through the 2000s, and against ISIS with the use of the Iraqi army. But is this tank as really as powerful and technologically advanced as they say it is? With the latest version of this tank being the M1A2 SEP V3. The United States Army has sought to future proof this vehicle for many more years of use. Stay with us for the next few minutes as we delve deep into the M1A2 SEP V3. Welcome to Weapons of Conflict. The Abrams main battle tank, one of the most famous and battle proven tanks in modern history. The founding of the Abrams battle tank goes all the way back to the 1960s when the United States and Germany sought to find a new vehicle to defeat the new Russian tanks. The original tank was known as the MBT-70, but this failed, leading to the future development of the M1 Abrams. The original models of this tank started with the M1, M1A1, and M1A2 variants. One of the most key features of the Abrams series tanks is its survivability, with the use of its Chobham armor, a composite armor which with the full contents is still classified even to this day. But the latest variant which has debuted is the M1A2 SEP V3. SEP standing for System Enhancement Package version 3. This new tank variant has maintained the basic shape of the original Abrams tank. But the real changes are in the electronics and much of the inner workings of the vehicle. It also has many new armor protective features. Many of these upgrades come from lessons learned during the urban wars in Iraq, where much of the combat that the United States Army had to face was in extremely urban population areas. The main gun fitted to this main battle tank is the M256 120mm smoothbore cannon. This cannon is capable of firing the M829 Alpha 4 Advanced Kinetic Energy and Advanced Multipurpose Amp Rounds to defend armored vehicles and personnel and low flying vehicles. Another upgrade is that this tank features the Low Profile Commonly Remote Operated Weapon System, or CROWS. This is installed with the standard 12.7mm machine gun 50 cal, or it can be mounted with a M240 machine gun as well. The tank also has its standard coaxial 240 machine gun as well. The low profile crow was implemented due to the original tank crewmen not liking the original crow, which is extremely bulky and in the way of the tank commander's view 
when trying to maneuver the vehicle. The M1A2 SEP V3 was also fitted with the improved forward-looking infrared eye flare to detect targets. The eye flare employs long and mid-wave infrared technology to enhance target acquisition, identification, and engagement compared to the existing second-generation flare. Overall, a much better sight. The Crows will also be equipped with an upgraded day camera that uses picture-in-picture -picture technology to combine different fields of view. It offers a 340% larger scene in wide field of view. Another addition to the fire control system is the ADL or ammunition data link. This will allow the crew to program delayed offsets to new types of main gun rounds. The size of this vehicle and weight has changed slightly as well. With the mass of this new version weighing in at 73.6 short tons, or 66.8 tons. The gun forward position is 32 feet approximately, and the hole length 26 feet. The width 12 feet, height 8, and of course, a crew of four. This vehicle is now fitted with an internal EAPU generator, which is in the rear of the whole area. But besides some of the armament and computer upgrades, the real meat and potatoes for these upgrades are its protection systems. The whole interior integrated a new armor package for superior protection against threats from improvised explosive devices, and a tank can be hinged with reactive armor and slat armor now. The Crew Duke V3 counter remote controlled IED RC IED electronic warfare system protects the crew from roadside bombs which are remotely detonated. And of course, the tank has still come standard with M250 six barreled smoke grenade dischargers. But one of the most impressive systems that is now on the SEP V3 is the addition of the Trophy Active Protective System. This system is designed to protect the vehicle from ATGMs, RPGs, anti tank rockets, and tank heat ammunition. This works by using a small amount of explosively formed projectiles that detect and then launch, destroying the incoming threats before it can actually hit the vehicle. Originally designed by Raphael Advanced Defense Systems of Israel, this system was adapted for use on the Abrams, particularly the M1A2 set V3. But now we get to the real question. Is this the most powerful tank in the current modern battlefield? With all the upgrades and its already proven battlefield capability, this tank is a formidable foe for any other military in the world. And with the active protective measures that the vehicle has now, it can go toe to toe with any of the most modern tanks such as the T-90 and even the T-14 Armada. But nobody knows what the future will hold. Thank you for watching this episode of Weapons of Conflict. Please like and subscribe if you like this content and leave a comment below. Thank you.